Today's video is brought to you by the Motherboards.org Gaming Deal of the Week. What's up today on the charts? It's Metro 2033 for under $5. If you're a fan, check it out in the link below. TGIF. Thank God it's Friday. Elric Ferris here once again on Motherboards.org taking an unboxing and first features look at a new card from our friends over at ASUS. This is their new Direct CU2 Top Edition GTX 670. It features a GPU boost of up to 1137 MHz, also has their Digi Plus VRM technology. You also get their GPU tweak for overclocking and it also has 2 GB of GDDR5 memory. That said, let's Let's see what comes inside this box and how cool this new card is. All right, folks, like any good unboxing, we're going to start off the outside of the box. Here we can see it's the ASUS Direct CU2 Top, 20% cooler, vastly quieter. They actually show you back here on the box how the copper is directly connected to the GPU. This is what actually helps keep it really, really cool because when you have that direct connection, that means everything is able to easily dissipate away from the GPU itself. As we said before, 1137 megahertz on the top GPU boost, the Digi Plus VRM, the GPU tweak, the two gigabytes of GDDR5 memory. Let's just flip the card around. They have some more stuff in the back here. You can see it has a two fan design. Once again, we see the direct CU2. It says flattened copper heat pipes make direct contact with the GPU so heat is dissipated efficiently, delivering a 20% cooler and vastly quieter performance than reference. These guys also do a lot of fan tweaking, which means they custom tune the fan to speed up or slow down to keep the card running at a same level of cooling, which actually keeps the card running a lot longer. This also does that as well. This is their Digi VRM plus Supo Alloy Power. What this does is the same thing as basically this, but just by doing it a different way, it helps it run by keeping the power running efficiently all the way through the system all the time. Like I said before, you guys know when the card heats up and cools down, that makes the card's life shorten. This actually helps along those factors by keeping the card running just very steady throughout the entire process. Once again, the GPU tweak, real-time and intuitive graphics tuning. This means basically you can overclock, increase your voltage, and all that stuff directly on the card. Also, along with GPU tweak on the higher-end Republic of Gaming motherboards, you can actually directly wire the video card to the motherboard, allowing you to tune all the features directly through the BIOS of the motherboard. Really cool stuff. So, let's get in here and take a look at this bad boy. Pop the cap here. My water goes flying across the room. Love that. All right, here we go. Start. We got some foam in here. All right. So, I guess we'll just look at this real quick. This should be all the accessories. All right. This is all the accessories. So we'll see those first. We got the drivers and GPU tweak on a CD here. In the future, it'd be cool. And these things just come on a little tiny USB stick. That'll be awesome. Molex. Six pin power. Speed step, speed setup rather, excuse me. Got your little speed setup guide there. Then we see the card down here below. Anti-static bag. And then here she is. Just take a look at that thing. Unbelievably nice looking card. So let me get the box out of the way. Let me first just set the card down, get out the measuring tape, see how long this card is. So this card is 10 inches long. Starting from the bottom all the way up to the top of the pipes. The card is almost six inches in height. Let me, let me get that a little bit more accurate there. Actually about five and, five and a quarter inches. Maybe there's a better way to actually do that. I'll spin it around the back real quick and measure it that way. Hard to connect it there, so we'll go measure this way all the way up to the top. So about five inches actually. So it's about an inch higher on top than the regular cards. Usually cards are about four inches, but this one does have vastly superior cooling. So flip it around again to the side, do a little bit of measurement there. This card's a little bit under two inches. All right, so let's just start off again, folks. Let's flip it around. Whoa. Everything is nice and covered with plastic protectors there, so I can hold on to them. There's also a back plate in the back, so nothing's going to get affected in the card by holding it. Here we can see it's the Direct CU2. We see the two-fan design. 
Underneath it are all the heat fans, and then here are all the heat pipes. Running all the way through the card on both sides. So the direct copper is going to be connected to the card, then the heat's going to come out into these fans and then out to be dissipated through the heat pipes, keeping the card running very, very cool. Like I said before, Azus always custom tunes their fans. So this means that when the car gets hotter, the fans speed up. If the card gets cooler, the fans slow down, depending on what you're doing with the card. Flipping around the back right here to show you the back. Let's go do it a little bit different here. Take a look at the rear I.O. I like this rear I.O. We see two DVIs. HDMI and a standard display port. Up here on top, we see the two SLI fingers. I also really like this back plate. You guys can see there's a back plate covering the very back of the card. That's very good. If you want to set the card down or something, you don't have to worry about getting shorted out or scratching anything. It's very good. You can see it's the Asus GeForce GTX 670. And then let's finally take a look at the power connectors. You can see we have two six pin power connectors located right here. One cable came inside of the box. If you need an additional one, you have to get it, but most likely your power supply will have these cables in it, especially if you have a newer power supply. So just all in all, this is a very, very good looking card. The design of it is completely non-reference. Asus is known for making these type of cards, and this one's actually a little bit smaller than some of the other cards we've seen in the past, like the Mars 2. This would actually fit in your case without any problem. So let me just set this back here on the desk. Let me get all the content together. And this is basically it right here, folks. This is the Asus Direct CU2 Top Card geared for overclocking, the GTX 670 model. Look for the full review coming soon on motherboards.org.